In Model Aviation Magazine on April 2011, page 81, I saw this plane here, and it's called the Sim Simplicity Flying Wing. Uh, that one that's shown here was made with a 24 inch wingspan and uh, 380 square inches of material. Well, I wanted to use my single cell power system with a one cell LiPo battery and one of these small Hobby King 4000 KV APO3 motors. So to use that I had to scale the plane down from what the original was. So I know I'm going to be using this motor with this 5x3 props and I made sure that this slot was half of 5 inches or 2.5 inches to accommodate the prop. You can see it's from the magazine because there's the picture of the servo that was in the magazine and the battery and their two cell power system that they are using. In a sense these would be elevons because they're not just ailerons, they're going to do everything. And I taped a piece of carbon fiber rod across here according to the original picture which had a rod across it. And so that is basically the plain body. So next I took some of this half inch by one eighth balsa wood and cut a piece to go right down the middle of the plane like this and glued it on there with some CA. And that's what it looked like right there. And then I took another couple little pieces, just square pieces and glued them on each side of it down here where the motor mount's going to go. Now I've added a couple of uh, thin carbon fiber rods to the top side here just for reinforcement for this tail end of it here to make that a little stiffer. And of course on the back side is the main spar to support the whole wing. Now the whole thing with a Hyperion 160 milliamp hour one cell battery weighs about 35 grams. So that should be okay. It's going to probably have a one-to-one -one power to weight ratio but it looks like it could fly and if it works maybe I'll do a more detailed build video on it. So here goes the test. Cold. Looks like it's a little bit. Oh! Looks like it was a little bit uh, tail heavy. There it is. Make sure this is still on there. Oh. Okay. There we go. I'm keeping it down low so that it's easier to see against the green trees. Now let's do a little test. Let's get it up in the air a little bit. And I'll shut off the propeller. Ready? Ah! It's gliding. So it glided pretty good, I think. I'm going to put another battery on it. See the gap. How much gap I had. Again. 
Go so ahead. You on? Mm-hmm. I forgot to check and make sure the prop's on. It's a prop saver. So, there's a car down there. Oh, that's on the road. Yeah. So, I'm going to try it with the same type of battery 240 milliamp hour Hyperion single cell. And we'll see if uh, the center of gravity is still the same. Got to go down to our customary spot at the beginning of the fairway. It's cold out here, isn't it? Oh. Now let's see if I can make a turn the other direction. Here we go. Thing is fast, isn't it? Yeah, I just barely pulled out of a crash there. A lot of it has to do with how you toss it. What do you toss it? Like a frisbee or try to get it go straight forward. With that propeller in the rear, you can't really grab the underneath of it without it hitting your fingers on launch. Seems to be doing pretty good. I would not recommend this on a windy day. It has to be fairly calm. Let's see what happens when I do a, one of these. It didn't like that too much, did it? Yeah, it would do the roll, but it was not a really fast roll. But it's only a one cell, you know, a one cell system doesn't have tremendous power. Let's Can you do a loop? It's okay for the beginner. Can you do a loop? Semi loop. <laughs> no, it didn't make a loop out of it that time. So, as far as the aerobatics go, the power is. It's not enough, I don't think, but you'd have to go to two cells, and then you'd have to have a much bigger aircraft. This is supposed to be a tiny aircraft. Okay, here comes a flyby. Seem to be getting pretty good flight times out of the, those little batteries. Okay, now let's see if we can bring it in for a landing. How do you like that? Just drifted down like a leaf. I got a good picture of it there too. So for a short wrap up, I think I should mention some of the final changes that I made to the plane before the flight video was taken. One was we went with the 240 milliamp hour Hyperion battery, this one right here. Uh, that gave it enough weight in the nose because it was a little tail heavy before and I set the battery back about three quarters of an inch from the nose and that seemed to balance the CG pretty good. The other change that we made was Instead of using the linear servos, which were originally on it, which looks something like this, we went with some of these geared rotary servos that uh, also came from Hobby King. And they seem to have a lot more control. Uh, the linear servos were a little bit uh, fidgety. And uh, I think I'm going to be using these quite a bit because they really seem to give me a lot more control over the flight characteristics. Uh, another thing, another small change was I mounted the motor so that it was in the center but 
in all directions. See, it's in the center uh, vertically and horizontally now. Whereas before it was kind of mounted above the wing. And I found if I put it right in the center, that gave me a lot better flight characteristics. And this is a two millimeter Depron. I think I forget to, or forgot to mention that. It's two millimeter Depron. So that was another thing I wanted to add. And I think that's about it. You saw how it flew. Uh, I was pretty happy with it. And uh, if anyone's really interested in the more detailed build video, you can leave me a comment in the uh, underneath the video. And the next project we're going to be working on is this scratch-built champ type plane, which I call a scramp. And it also uses a uh, one cell power system. Same thing that was on that flying wing. The difference on this is it's going to have a different receiver. It's got one of the Hobby King 415s. And I am going to be using those same servos again because they do work so good. Anyway, that's it for now. Don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up. And we'll see you later.